25 years ago, Irving Berlin wrote a song called Alexander's Ragtime Band. And today, it's one of the biggest hits the country has ever known. It seems a shame that it took 25 years to click. I liked it when it first came out. My nurse used to croon it to me when I was a mere babe in arm. I'll never forget her rocking me on her knee with my little blanket tucked all around me and singing so sweetly, Come on in here! Come on in here! Woke up the whole house. <laughs> uh, that was Meredith Wilson laughing to the courtesy of the British Broadcasting Company. Uh, thank you. As I was saying, although my nurse plugged this song all she could, nothing happened till along came a gentleman named Daryl Zanuck who makes pictures for a uh, rival company. I uh, can't mention it naturally here, but I could give you a clue. Uh, pray do. Well, I'll give you the name of this picture company in the form of a little puzzle. I have 19 pennies in my left hand, all dated 1919. I have one penny in my right hand, dated one year later. Now, if you can guess the date on this 20th cent, you're a fox. <laughs> well, I've got it already. No. Universal. <laughs> Meredith, before I tell you whether you're right or wrong, tell me this. Did you figure out the answer or did you just guess? Oh, I figured it out, Bob. Mm. It was very simple. Pennies, universal medium of exchange. 1919, the year the company was founded. Universal City. And uh, besides, the night watchman. What's the night watchman got to do with it? Where does he come in? Well, he has a private entrance in the back over there. Now, wait the... a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> you want me to give you the puzzle again? Uh, pray do. Pray do. 19 pennies, my left hand, date 1991, penny, my right hand, date one year later. If you can guess the date on this 20th cent, you're a fox. Oh, well, that's not the way you said it before. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. I've got it now. What is it? RKO. <laughs> Meredith, this is going to be a shock to you, but you haven't the right answer yet. Oh, well, that's very discouraging. Now, listen, kid. Why don't you go over in the corner and practice the puzzle by yourself? I know you'll get it. Well, sure, I'll get it. I'll try it right now. Uh, can I do it with nickels? Nickels? Why do you want to do it with nickels? Well, I haven't got any cents. <laughs> that's what I thought. All right, Meredith, do it with nickels. Thank you. I'll do it with the nickels. Thank yeah, that's fine. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, what I started to say before I was diverted by the puzzle king is that Alexander's Ragtime Band is a swell picture and that one of the reasons is the star of the picture, who is the toast of America today and a guest on our program tonight, Miss Alice Faye. Thank you, Bob. Alice, what have you got there in your hand? Oh, nothing, Bob. I, I just got a telegram from Tony. Oh, your husband, Tony Martin? Yes. You see, he's on tour with his band, and he heard I was going to broadcast, so he sent me this little message. Well, I think that's very sweet, and I think our audience would love to hear it. Oh, no. Now, go on. Read it, Alice. No, I couldn't. Go on. What if it is a little personal? It's those intimate glimpses into a star's personal life that endear her to the fans. Go on. Read it. All right, Bob. My darling. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> My darling. We open tomorrow at the Stanley Theater in Pittsburgh with five lovely acts of vaudeville, a great feature, a newsreel, and other short subjects. Four shows daily, matinees 35 cents, evening 55, children half price, smoking in the balcony, regards Tony. Well, now, that's a sweet thought if I ever heard one. <laughs> How much are the load seats? Oh, P.S., load seats are 75 cents. Alice. Alice Faye, is that the reason you wanted to come on this program, to plug your husband's show? Oh, that's only one reason. But the other reason is I'm dying to meet Frank Morgan. Frank Morgan? Oh, honey, it makes sense to plug Tony's show, but why would anybody want to meet Frank Morgan? Well, ever since I've heard about all the things he does on this program... What thing? Well, it isn't everybody that can sing the songs on the program and be the principal comedian and play in all those wonderful dramatic sketches. Morgan does that? Isn't it wonderful? And I almost died when I heard he was Baby Snook. <laughs> Alice, have you ever listened to this program? All the time. That's why I was so interested when I met this MGM producer at the masquerade last night. <coughs> he was telling me all about Frank Morgan. Oh, you were at the masquerade, huh? Yes, I was dressed as Pocahontas. Pocahontas. Now, well, who was this MGM producer? Well, I don't know who he was because he wore a mask, but... Uh, oh, he was dressed as George Washington. <laughs> George Washington, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Alice, I think it's high time you met your hero. Oh. Hey, Frank. Uh, yes, Bob? I want you to meet Miss Faye. You must have seen her in Ale Alexander's Ragtime Band. Uh, Alexander's Band. No, I don't believe so. What instrument does she play? 
Bob means the picture, Mr. Morgan. Oh, the picture. Yeah, Miss Faye was just telling me about the masquerade last night. You were there, weren't you? Please? Well, of course, I certainly was. <laughs> How are you dressed, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I was dressed as George Washington. George Washington? Yes. But there was only one George Washington at the ball. Yes, well, that was me. I spent most of my evening dancing with a silly, lovesick little blonde dressed up as Pocahontas. <laughs> oh, a silly little Frank, blonde, huh? Frank. Yeah, well, maybe I couldn't call her silly. After all, I'm fascinating in a brutish sort of a way. <laughs> I, um, I fought her off as long as I could, and believe me, I had a terrible time explaining about the lip rouge to my wife. <laughs> oh, here it comes. Mr. Morgan. <laughs> yes. Are you aware there was only one Pocahontas at the ball last night? Well, of course I am. You'd think there was a hundred the way she managed to corner me everywhere I went. And you stand here and tell everybody that you kissed this Pocahontas? Uh, I can say, well, no, to be truthful, she kissed me. Oh. <laughs> she couldn't seem to resist, poor girl. But just the old story, you know, of the moth and the flame. <laughs> mm, with wait till Tony Martin twist. hears about this. Well... Oh, do you know Tony Martin? Frank, it uh, might interest you to know that Tony Martin pays Alice Faye's rent. <laughs> well, that sounds just like Tony Martin, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, what a spender. You know, I was in Boston with him last week, and the way he spent dough on every little dame around that theater. Flowers, candy, gin... Frank, Frank, Nick, 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 What's the matter? Can't we mention booze on this program? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Morgan, I don't believe a single word of this. And I'll have you know that Tony Martin is my husband. Well, you don't... Uh, 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 husband... Uh, uh, the hu uh, husband. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, well, I, uh, I have to run along to the costumers. The man told me if I didn't return my George Washington suit by 12 o'clock tonight, I'd turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> well, so long, Al uh, 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 Mrs. Martin. 